So currently there are eight affiliate clinics around the nation and these clinics provide something special and what they provide is an opportunity for families to be close to home to receive a majority of their treatment and that happens because of the donors in this community. I probably wouldn't even be here without the donors. Thank you. The first thing people say when I tell them I work in a, a pediatric oncology clinic is they say, how can you do that? That must be the saddest, most depressing thing in the world. And the next thing I tell them is I'm like, you need to come up and see what I do every day because if you come back and see the kids in our clinic, in our infusion room, you will not ever think there's anything sad about what we do. So what we do is we allow them to live their childhood or give it back to them, if you will, while they're here in the clinic. There are kids playing with toys. There are kids doing arts and crafts. Right now, I'm about to do an airplane drawing tutorial. I'm really good at it and I've been drawing since I was two. The clinic has had a long time uh, relationship with Dr. Krim and his compassion fund for children with cancer. This is one of our bags, our care bags that we give our families who are new, newly diagnosed. So these families are just given this diagnosis of cancer and we're able to give them through Dr. Krim and his compassion fund this bag that has a tablet, it has a blanket, it has a gift card, it has so many things and reminds them that when you come back home the clinic is here for you to continue that. I always have something fun going on to keep the kids as well as the teenagers, you know, distracted from what they're actually, you know, getting chemo and stuff. They sometimes like to play with me. Well, I like to sometimes be mischievous. <laughs> Music therapy is 100% funded by Huntsville Hospital Foundation and its generous donors. I think that music is inside everyone. Um, it doesn't matter if they're babies all the way up until we turn an older age. But kids in general, they, they have a blast being together, playing, making music, making lots of noise, and they just feed off of each other when music is around. It's fun and you could um, use instruments. I think they like the ukulele the best because it's smaller so they can fit their hands around it and it's quick. The first chord is one finger. For me personally it just makes me happy hearing a beat or you know um, someone with a great voice sing. There's been a lot of times that the families have pulled me aside and said this is the first time that we've gotten through a port access or a dressing change without the child getting upset because you know, their, their attention was on the music. They didn't even realize they were finished until they looked down and they were like, well, I'm finished, I'm done, this is awesome. And I've gotten lots of hugs in, in that regard. Because of you, because of the donations and the extras, it makes this a actual enjoyable place for the kids to come and not some place that they dread coming every week. Because of you. At the end of treatment, we throw a big party for all of the, the children when they're finished with their, their chemotherapy. And what we try to do is make it a huge celebration. And one of the things we do is we sing the No More Chemo song. And the No More Chemo song is just to say, this is the last treatment you get. Get your stuff, get out of here. You don't have to worry about this anymore. So all of us here just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our patients have the cutest S-M-I-L-E's Our patients have the sweetest H-E-A-R-T's So we love to see you every day Now's the time we get to say Pack up your bags, get out the door You don't get chemo anymore Because of you